Hey YouTube, um, today I am going to be making a Super Mario Brothers mushroom uh, because I got a comment from someone asking for help on my uh, toad video. So yeah, I thought I'd, uh, I'd help him out. So the process of making this mushroom was fairly easy and the one thing that they asked for or what they needed help with was basically just making the eyes so I'm going to skip over um, certain parts and time lapse so uh, yeah let's get started so the modeling part was just fairly easy like it's just uh, I guess basic shapes um, added circles and cylinders and uh, yeah I guess just adjust it from there and then like you know try to get the shapes right and uh, yeah I mean like you'll see a lot of uh, just you know everything is just like uh, putting everything into place is just like adjusting certain shapes and uh, making everything look the way it's supposed to as you know you can see on the references so this is the part that, uh, where i actually like start on the eyes as you can see it's not even time lapsed so it's gonna take maybe i don't know a few minutes so as you can see the first thing i did was i added a circle then i reduced its vertices to 16 then I kind of scaled it to match the uh, shape of the eyes. Then I rotated it by 90 degrees after you know, changing the view to the right. Then from there, it's just a matter of like scaling and adjusting the shape so that it just looks right. Also, some of these parts I will be, you know, silent because like I'm not really used to creating videos where I narrate. So yeah, I guess you'll just have to listen to the background music for that. So right now I'm just putting the eye into place and then after scaling and, you know, moving it a bit, I will then apply the... Um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, the mirror modifier. But before that, I added a, um, a grid fill. Then I changed the, uh, the span so that it has this sort of like a cross shape in it. Then I select the, uh, the outer edges of the, 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 the eye shape. Yeah, but first I move it like closer to the head or I don't know is that a head of is that a head of the mushroom yeah but whatever it is I, I just move. then I apply the uh, shrink wrap and then I select that part as the uh, the target and from there it it, it kind of fits you know to the uh, shape of the head then after that I just um, apply and then after that I just hit the yeah I just select the entire thing and then move it out a little bit then select the outer edges again then extrude them sort of like towards the head And then after that, I just added a mirror modifier. Then, yeah, the rest is just, I don't know, again, it's just adjusting the shape so that it kind of matches the eyes. Because as you'll see, I'll just add a, uh, uh, yeah, a subdivision surface modifier. See, just so it matches with the eyes. 
then from there it'll be just like scaling and uh, moving a few vertices so that they match the uh, the reference also like the, one of the reasons why i never make uh these sort of i guess you could call them like narrated tutorials is because i don't really have like a great setup where it's like i have a microphone and everything so yeah i don't even know if you'll be able to hear me correctly but you know i hope this helps to whoever i guess needed to see this so yeah you know like still adjusting the eyes um this will take a while so I will time lapse I mean I'll yeah I will reach a part where I add a uh, time lapse again when I'm done with uh, moving these eyes basically like the whole thing with the um you know shading and texture painting that part I won't explain because this is what uh, the person like needed help with on the comment they just wanted to know how i did the eyes you know just uh, apply the uh, the mirror modifier no shade smooth yeah on the eyes and then everything from there is just i don't know it's just basic modeling i guess like it doesn't really need that much explanation but then like i hope you guys get the idea of how i actually did this thing just moving the uh, vertices into place so that you know it looks closer to the reference to time lapse as you can see everything is just pretty much done um, the only thing that i uh, actually like uh, texture painted was just the you know the top of the mushroom like the, the red and white part everything else is just like a basic shader with like a diffuse color and um, i think there's also a glossy shader yeah, mixed with a diffuse and there's like um, a fresnel on top of that so it's just a pretty basic oh and also like for the colors i used the reference like the color picker to pick colors straight from the reference so that you know it matches and as you can see like the uh, the shader yeah, I will delete the uh, principal shader and actually like do this thing manually because like it was taking a bit too much time, I guess. So yeah. Yeah, I mean like one other thing is that you know I never make um, such tutorials because like I'm. I also identify like as a intermediate blender user like I'm no expert so a lot of things like I have to research and then like see what I've learned oh and uh, for the um, 
the white parts of the mushroom head I just uh, I created a um, a red image with a sort of like a white circle in the middle and then like I use that so uh, so that yeah as a stencil so that I can like uh, you know paint perfect circles instead of using uh, the uh, default brush from blender because like it kind of look fuzzy so with this one i can get like um, yeah i guess you know sharper edges on the on the circle you know so that it matches the, the reference and there are some parts where i use symmetry and then like sometimes i turn it off you know depending on uh, how this thing is looking like yeah on the sides i actually turned on symmetry but then like for the uh, top front and back i just used um, yeah i just turned it off basically and then i tried to you know like align it as perfectly as I could. Yeah, but you know, some of these things are just, uh, I guess, basic. And uh, I guess it's pretty much done, as you can see. So right now I'm just trying to uh, fill in the uh, the red part so that it matches because it had like two shades of red, one which was the one that I filled it in and then the other one was from the the image. Oh, let me and here's the uh, final scene I guess. It's it looks kind of messy I I know but then like it. Yeah, it's it's simple. It's just like um, I think it's like three point lights and one sun lamp, just to uh, complete the whole thing. And then like yeah, it's pretty much self explanatory. Like it's it's not that complex. It's pretty simple. Oh, and uh, I also use the um, hue and saturation. On the uh, the textures, so that uh, I get this uh, the the green color. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, I guess if you have other questions, like you can leave them in the comments. And uh, I don't know, maybe I might uh, make another one of these where I explain my process in in making some of these. Uh, you know 3d models and you know try to help out as much as i can but you know until then we'll catch you guys later